Hey guys, Ultra still here, and we are continuing the Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Alright, so in the last part, we got the legendary Master Sword from this unknown underwater place uh, below the Tower of the Gods. And we also learned a new song, which is called The Ballad of Gales. And with it, we can travel the great seas and just transport, which is much more faster than sailing. So we're gonna go back to our home island. Because there's actually something that we're going to do. Because we we are just about ready to go save our sister. Since we have the legendary uh, Master Sword and... Um, yeah, we're going to see if we can have a new ability to help us fight better. Now that we have 10 Knight's Crest. So, take out your Knight's Crest and we're going to go... And give them to Orca, our sword instructor. <clears throat> First, good evening. Letters for like. We have two letters. Ooh, two. Here's a letter. All right, let's see. Notice from Beatles Chop Ship. It's time for our semi-annual Big Chance Extravaganza. We have a new product that has burst into the bo scene. Bob's. And so yeah, he basically gives you a uh, one of his charts. And it tells you like where his ships are around the sea so you can go shopping, so it's just something more efficient. And we got one more letter. <laughs> I'm sorry to disturb you with this unsolicited letter. If the following does not interest you, please throw the letter away without a second thought. But this is your big chance. Do you have need of an empty bottle, a piece of heart, or a treasure chart? We have them at special bargain sales, or prices, but we have only one of each. And if you're interested, go to the shop ship near Rock Spire Island. First come, first served. I can't wait to serve you. To those who took the time to read this letter, please accept my humble thanks. Assistant Manager, Rock Spire Shop Ship. Alright, sweet. And he only gives us one rupee. Right. It's pretty nice, I guess. So, uh... Yeah, oh wait, hold on, sorry. So, what that letter was talking about is there's this island where we can get these, uh, rare letters. I mean, no, not letters. Rare items! Uh, but they're pretty pricey. Uh, the bottle is worth 500 rupees. Uh, the piece of fire is 950 rupees. And the treasure shark he gives you is, uh, 950 rupees. So that's just something I should let you guys know on. But anyways, let's give him the 10 Knight's Crest. Well, why? That is a Knight's Crest! How many of those do you have? <laughs> I suppose the time has come for me to speak to you about the crest. The knight's crest. It is a symbol of a courageous knight. But not just anyone can gather them. No, it takes a soul who possesses not only power, but wisdom and courage as well. Ah, I see what you did there. Classic Zelda Triforce thing. Any courageous soul who gathers ten of these crests can learn a new, powerful sword technique. Both my brother and I dreamt of learning this technique in our youth. We worked so hard to collect the crust. But it took many long years and adventurous be beyond count before we can even approach finding ten of them. And we both grew up. It appears you have enough might to learn that technique now. Perhaps, just perhaps, you can master it. Very good, Link. Heed my words. So, check this out. This is a pretty good ability. It comes with a cost, though. Hold V to build up power and then release it. Come at me now. Do it. Just so just hold the attack button, and your sh your sword will glow yellow. And check this out. That's insane. You learn the hurricane spin. Hold B to build up your power and then release it to perform a whirling attack with your blade. Remember, it consumes magic power. Amazing, Link! You did it! You have mastered the hurricane spin! At last you have made our long-held dream come true. Oh, the joyful tears! They won't stop! I thought my tears had dried up long ago. There is nothing left for me to teach you. I am certain now that you will save your sister, Ariel, and bring her home to Outset. Aw, oh, isn't that nice? So yeah, with this new ability, uh, it's gonna help later on. Let's just do it one more time because it looks so cool. What I like to do with it though is I like to crash into something so that way I don't get punished when uh, I get dizzy. 
Because if you use it, you have this moment where you where Link gets dizzy and he he becomes vulnerable. So you have to be careful when using it. So yeah, the reason I came in here is because I'm gonna get some potion. The reason I drink it is because I want to get the extra attack boost. So if you guys forgot how to get this electric soup for from your grandma, you need to get a fairy and then show it to your grandmother, and she'll give you this electric soup, which is very very good. Okay, um. I think we're just about ready to head off. What say you guys? So let's go back to the Forsaken Fortress where our sister is being held. Oops. Ah, come on, you're supposed to jump in the boat. Okay. Nevertheless, the shortcut we're gonna take is actually in a uh, Tingle Island. Because that's like the best place. Uh, I know that it shows a closer spot on the Ballad of Gales map, but unfortunately, if we were to go there, we wouldn't be able to sail uh, across to the Forsaken Fortress because we'd be, we'd be stuck inside of an island and we would not be able to get out. Uh, I'll get more into that later, but that place does hold a significant role. Which we will be going into, perhaps, in the future. <clears throat> so yeah, just go this way, northwest, and we'll be there anytime soon. Let's see, I should probably take out my all-purpose bait, because I want to get information about that new island. Ooh. We're on second thought. Hmm, I'm so tempted to go Rock Spire Island, but... We got some things we gotta do! Not yet, not yet. Because remember, that Rock Spire Island holds some unique treasures. Even though they're very expensive. And there's Merman. Let's go get the sea shark from him. And ooh, there's a glowing treasure shark spot right there. We're gonna open it and. Mind it. <clears throat> so let's get this island's information. Mother and Child Isles, that's what it's called. They say that inside the ring of rock that makes up the perimeter of the island, there was an incredible, beautiful fairy. But the thing is, nobody's ever met her. Supposedly, the only way you'll ever meet her is to take a ride on a whirlwind and drop inside that rock perimeter from the sky above. Doesn't sound easy, Fry. And that's all the info I've got to offer. Yada yada yada. So yeah, like what he's mentioning, we actually can't... Uh, I, if we were to do that now, just trust me, it, it wouldn't do anything. So just ignore that for now, and we'll most likely get back to that later. So let's first get this treasure shirt. Aha! Treasure shirt number 29. So let's go ahead and... Bingo! Ha! Come on, give me a piece of heart. Piece of heart. Please? Yeah, silver rupee, not bad. Okay, let's go ahead. Continue. Actually, there is something on the island that you want to get. Which is a uh, blue choo choo. So let me just stop by and kill it. And it looks like there's another one of those Korok guys there from the Forest Haven. Isn't that convenient? So that blue choo choo is right. It's supposed to be right here. I don't know where it is. Huh. Wait. Come on, I know you're around here somewhere. Supposed to be on this island. Well, there it is. All right, that's all I wanted to do. Now let's go ahead and go to the Forsaken Fortress. There's literally nothing else to do because it's like right over there, and it looks spooky as the first time. Um, something I should be getting into. Uh, you'll notice that there's a lot of islands that look like that, like that one right there. Uh, the reason I haven't been doing those... Whoa. Whoa! 
Really? You're gonna put two? You're gonna make me hop over one and have little options? That's what happens when I don't pay attention and try to explain something. <sighs> Why can't I keep my sword power? <laughs> once you get damaged... Oh, once you get damaged... That guy got hit again. You lose your sword attack power from the Electra Soup, so... That's why I was trying my best to not get hit. But anyways, going back to what I was saying about regarding those islands. Uh, we can't get the treasures or anything on them just yet because we needed... Oh my goodness! We got... Oh my goodness. I am done rotating the camera to that stupid island. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Okay. But yeah, we need to we need to get further in the game's story. And no, I'm not gonna rotate it again. Uh, in order for us to do those islands officially and get everything, because we we can't we can't get everything right now. We have to trigger some game events, which uh, we're gonna do soon regarding the Forsaken Fortress. After that, then we'll be able to explore those islands. And wow, that sun went down faster than you can say, baloney. Hmm. Watch out for these uh, turrets over here. Or drones, whatever you would like to call these cannon obstacles. <laughs> you have your little barrels, but you can't stop me with those. And here we are, the Forsaken Fortress. Cannon yeah, has lightweight been made aware of our little incursion here already. <clears throat> but you have the Master Sword. That sword shall shine in the darkness, casting back evil within your hands. Nothing can keep you from rescuing your sister. Do not be afraid. Yeah, I'm just gonna like, um, uh, whatchamacallit. When I'm reading the text, I'm not gonna go 100% because that like, that transparent text box is, it's really hard to read the words and I, I always like, ooh. I always mess up. And here we have a new mini boss. Is that Ganondorf? Oh wow. So this is Phantom Ganon. He's gonna be shooting these energy balls at you. And you have to deflect them back with your sword. And then once he loses a uh, focus, he'll get hit by his own attack, and that's when you'll be able to hit him once he's stunned. Whoa, that did a lot of damage. I'm gonna heal up right now. Wow, that, that was a lot. <laughs> Where is that guy? Aha, there he is. So, sometimes when he like, uh, teleports in front of you, uh, he's gonna attack you and that's when you can counter the parry attack. And bam, we take him down. Go back here, you coward. So yeah, you'll notice that once we return to the Forsaken Fortress, the lights can shine on us and we won't get caught like our first time here. And they also put some uh, nail things right there, so we can't go that way. <clears throat> but let's see what this guy dropped. It you know, looks interesting. Alright, we got the skull hammer. Said to and use it with Y, X, or R, this mighty hammer can break things and pound obstacles into the ground. Some enemies even get stunned by the shockwaves it causes when you pound the ground with it. Interesting. And uh, once you get that item, these guys come around. Uh, before I go over there, there's something I want to show you guys. It's just something small. I missed a chest. But I'll, not only that, but I want to like show you some of the new enemies that are in the... Second Fortress, and not just those guys, because those guys are annoying. Okay, let's just do this, and there we go. So the so the mob ones this time won't catch you, since we have. A Did you really just throw that bomb in front of me so I can hit it and lose my attack power? Come here, you little brat. Ah. <sighs> uh Okay, fine, game. 
you don't want me to keep my attack power, because I have no choice. It's so disappointing. Yeah, let's try. Come here! There we go. Ooh! Careful. Take that. So there's actually a chest I missed over here too, that I forgot to get. Uh, I'm gonna be 100 percenting this, so... Yeah. Let's see. And I have a new enemy I want to introduce. See that uh, black thing on the ground? Or a purple thing? Well, this is called a floor master. They like to grab onto you and take you back to the beginning of the room, and these things can be annoying. Uh, what I like to do is just get close to them, though it's usually best to avoid them. Uh, just like parry attack them right when they, like, uh, you know, try to grab you. And then just finish them off. Another alternative you can use is if they, if they show themselves, you can go and use your arrows. So that's something. Okay. I think we're, I think we're doing pretty good. Minus getting hit a lot and stupid rat throwing a bomb in front of me so that way I can hit it. Seriously, that was like the worst thing ever. Oh, and uh, watch out for that uh, guy over here. So that's, this is the uh, chest that I wanted to get. Without further ado, let's go up here and uh, the reason we came back here, well obviously it's to save our sister, but where we have to go is where we saw Ganondorf when the Helmarok bird grabbed us. That guy's over there. Well, 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 let's just leave him alone. He's not really doing anything right now, so... You know. However, there is one searchlight that I do want to take down. Just uh, to let you guys know. Because this one I do recommend you do. Because just because the spotlights can't really uh, catch you, they can still like uh, shoot bombs at you. Particularly uh, this one. Because this spotlight would... Uh, let's see. This one would try to monitor that one. Oh, I guess it's that one over there. Never mind. Uh, but it's a good thing we took it out anyway. You know. The more we take out of those, the better. Because uh, sometimes like when... When you're trying to like hurry on over to to the fortress tower right there, the spotlight will catch you. Well, it won't catch you, but it'll shoot bombs at you once it spots you, and it's just annoying. And you should take out the light. Let's take our take a leaf and this, and yeah. Okay. Alright. So you'll have to take out the spotlight. There is another method to getting across there. But if for whatever reason you just want to do it more safely, I do recommend you take this one out. Wow. Yeah, that hammer does like twice as much damage as a uh, one hit from the Master Sword, so be sure to use it when you can. You can also like swing it this way and that way. It's pretty good. Nevertheless, let's continue upward. This uh, revisit to the Forsaken Fortress is kind of cool because now they, you know, usually they would try and catch you and stuff and make you feel weak, but now that we have a cool sword and we're prepared, it's like, nope, <laughs> uh, he fell off the cliff. I'm just gonna leave you like that because you're an idiot. <laughs> it's 
good to grab their treasure, you know. How many necklaces do I have? I have 19, that's pretty good. Whoa, you're not supposed to do that. So yeah, these minion boys are gonna try and come out of nowhere and ambush you, so that's gonna be kind of annoying. Let's see. So let's sit along by here. Come on, sit on Link. Come on. Don't look at us creepily. I think I'm gonna call it quits for this part, We're running out of time. So I'll see you guys in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD, where we, where we will hopefully save our sister. And we are close to that door. So I will see you guys later. Take care, peace, and have a good night. See you next time.